Hey everyone, welcome to the Depths. I'm Manti, and this is episode 21 of the Frigate Fracas Tournament. This episode, we've got the Sudanica by Hibachi going up against the Blue Scribes by Burka, Zeratop, and Patarix. Get the camera in position here, and away we go. Round one underway. Have to see how, uh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, lots of explosions. All kinds of fragments just shooting out of this ship here. Did its APS gun just get detonated or something somehow? Oh, they're running into each other. Probably not the. Whoa, 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 physics, whoa. Calm down there. <laughs> And they're going to just interlock into each other. And... They're just kind of stuck. And now their guns are just pointing into the air while stuck. And they keep, they're they launching interceptor missiles at the decoy missiles from the Sudanica. <laughs> Some kind of dark ritual. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have torpedoes underneath here, don't they? Yes. Yeah, so, so they're not completely helpless at the moment, but uh, they're fairly helpless. I don't know, Max. I don't know. Could be. Weren't they spawned on Team 2 before? Let me, let me look. <laughs> uh, no, they were spawned in the first position. In their first battle. But then, oh, oh no. Um, Sudanik is AI dead. <laughs> well, ritual complete. <laughs> Torpedoes, probably. Wow. I just noticed Sudanika's health plummeting, and it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's the end of round one. But I do want to check something. They were in episode two. Okay. Oh, and we've got uh, whole bunch of collision lag going on, which is always great. Because, yeah, they're running into each other. <laughs> 
They're not quite interlocking like they did before, though. But they are just kind of making out. <laughs> Actually, hold up. No, that first round doesn't count. I have I have Patarix and Zeratop in the wrong order. It's supposed to be Patarix first and then Zeratop. I just did it in alphabetical order of how... Well, well, it's not alphabetical. I don't know why it's arranged like this. But it's supposed to be Patarix, then Zerata, but not, not the other way around. So that first round is invalidated because I kind of put them in the wrong order. I I have it set to date, not alphabet. Shouldn't have it set to date. I don't remember ever doing that intentionally, but whatever. Go ahead and resave this, and we'll redo this because I'm an idiot. Even though that round went really well for for the blue scribes, but. Uh, They'd be calling for a redo if they'd lost, so it's only fair that I do a redo when they... Yeah. Who knows, that could have changed how they uh, AI deaded the Sudanica, so... Yep, that first round just doesn't count because I spawned them wrong. Yep. And now we don't have the... Uh... Now we don't have that collision issue. Okay, I did an idiotic thing. How about that, Josh Posh? <laughs> oh, those torpedoes. A whole bo Wow! They're just missing. Just barely missing. You know, now that you said that, Mitch, it won't happen. Nothing's really happened so far. They've just been kind of slugging it back and forth. Sudanica has a decent amount of HP damage, but I'm not... Oh, there it all is. I was going to say, I don't really see any damage to the ship. But it's, like, all right here. Oh, the turret got blown out. That's what happened. Oh, and another turret gets blown out. Well, I mean, the turret... The, mis the uh, guns weren't really the, f the main focus of the Sudanica anyway. It's also not really launching missiles anymore either. Oh, there they go. Never mind. Spoke too soon. That's the commentator's curse in a nutshell. Spoke too soon. All you hear is big booms, but you're not seeing anything? Is that what you're telling me? Is 
the stream still going all right? Or have I lost connection? What's going on? It's got me curious now because all of a sudden, like, nobody's talking. Ah, okay. <laughs> you had me worried. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, what's what's oh pseudonic as AI dead. Well, you were right, Mitch. <laughs> it's because I said something. Uh oh well, at least at least the outcome of the first round didn't really change all that much. <laughs> So I didn't screw up too bad. Sudnika's missile barrage doesn't really do a whole lot of damage to the blue scribes. They don't really care. seem to not really be effective either. Oof, that's a whole bunch of confetti. Those distraction cube head Wow, that did, like, literally nothing. Those crams are kind of anemic. Nick is really relying on that missile barrage. It just doesn't seem hefty enough. Not with uh, the Blue Scribe's missile defenses. Oh, hey! <laughs> nice, welcome to the stream. I got some. Mi Ooh. Okay, I say that, but this uh, this blue scribe, I'm assuming this is Patarix. Yep, is not doing so well. Yeah, those crams are doing nothing. They are pu puny little cramps. Uh, no, we're on round two of the second fight, Ghetto Bar. front of what, Mitch? You mean of the uh, blue scribes? Yeah, that's kind of by design. These are just filled with single block wooden square corners to create a cluster block that the AI will target more frequently than the rest of the ship. It's aim point spoofing. Oh, and Sudunik is AI dead again. Yep. <laughs> I kind of figured as much when the blue scribe stopped aiming at it. Yes, it's it's very deliberate, Mitch. There's nothing important up here. It's just single blocks of trusses and wood. And then there's nothing at all in the neck. All of the actual important stuff is back here in the body. I honestly don't think it's all that viable. It's just, uh... <laughs> Sudanica so is, uh... A little bit fragile. It's AI likes to die. <laughs> uh... 
No, it's not banned. I just don't think it's as effective as it used to be. Because most ships are going to have the... Uh, like, they're going to rip those heads up pretty quickly and cause a lot of HP damage. And, well, here we go for round three. Yes, round three, yes. Like, an actual good cram cannon would make such short work of these aim, aim point spoofing blocks, it wouldn't even be funny. Like, I bet my cram cannon would absolutely rip those things up. And then you just lost a ton of HP. <laughs> That did a little bit. As <laughs> soon as I'd be like, okay, I died now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It doesn't help that the Sudonica seems to be splitting its missile volley. It likes to attack both of them with missiles, and then they both have pretty dang good anti missile capabilities. So it ends up just doing very little damage to both of them. The Sudanica also launches distra distra launches decoys, which the interceptors keep going after. And then they're not loaded when the missile volley comes, and then damage actually gets done. Like, this thing is pretty badly beat up. And I'm pretty sure it's the torpedoes that are killing the Sudanica's AI. One cram cannon got destroyed. Not that that's a huge loss for the Sudanica, really. And one uh, very fatal feature about these ships is there's very little in here that's connecting the neck to the and the head together, so it likes to lose giant chunks of the head sometimes, and that's a lot of HP to lose. Sunicoma, you might. Yeah, you're too close. Your missiles can't hit your target, dude. What are you doing? All well, your torpedoes are just fine, though. <laughs> or if those missiles are managing to get turned around in the water. No, not really. are you shooting at that you're missing that close? <laughs> that was honestly some pretty, uh, pretty pathetic gunnery. I think... I think the uh, Patarix here just got torpe torpedoed by the Zerata. Because it was taking damage on this side. And obviously the Sudnika didn't do it. Oh, it had its Mats container destroyed again. Yeah, that's that's a pretty fatal flaw of the Sudnikas. To be fair, I have one giant. I have one giant ammo block in my ship as well, but it's a bit more protected. <laughs> like if you manage to get to it, I've probably already lost. So whatever. Will Sudnika survive this round, though? Mine isn't even covered in heavy armor. It's just located in a spot of the ship that you're unlikely to hit. 
all the way in the rear. With how the ship positions itself, you're not really going to attack it from the rear very much unless you disable its movement. What are you talking about looking at this monkey? What are you talking about? Obviously not if I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, so that's the end of round three. Sudanik actually survived that one. But, uh... Probably not going to make a huge difference. <laughs> so, 88 for the Blue Scribes. And, uh... A big old 21.4 for the Sudanika. So that's been uh that was a pretty pretty hefty stomp. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the battlefield. Ah